Well, welcome to another video in our series. In this section of the series, we are going to take a look at the lower wall framing for our two-story home edition. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the front wall. This is going to be the front door. And in some sections of the framing, I am going to use a strap instead of notching the top plate into the other wall framing. And you'll see more about that here in a few seconds. And and another thing, I am not going to pour the concrete slab until the project is almost finished because I don't want it to get scratched or damaged in any way while we're building the home addition. And that might be something you need to consider when doing a project like this also. And for the reason why I am putting this strap here, if you have existing framing plates with a break about four feet long and you're going to notch the framing plate in and have it sit on top of the existing wall, then you're going to end up putting two straps, a strap here and a strap here, instead of one strap here. So again, another thing to think about. However, your engineer might want it done differently, or you might need to use a larger strap, or even a different type of building hardware. Next up on the tour will be the framing for the stairway that will need to be cut into the existing wall framing. And then these these walls were added along with this wall over here and we will be going over that in another video. And the stairway will have four steps going up, nine steps coming down, and finishing out about here. And here we have the same problem, so I'm strapping it here. I'm about four foot three inches from here to here, which would allow me to overlap the top plate and connect it to the existing wall. However, if I was to notch the plates here so that this framing plate could extend over like this one, then I would have to add a strap over here. And of course, this might not be that big of a deal. You add one strap here or you add one strap here. Next up, let's take a look at the shear wall and the entire exterior of this wall will get shear panel. And you can always choose to nail the straps over the shear panel, which is what we're going to be doing with the lower straps. So shear panel here, shear panel here, and then along the front. And I'm also going to have shear panel on the top. So we're going to tie everything together. And of course, I will provide you with more information on that in the future videos. And if you remember from our foundation video, we have anchor bolts 16 inches on center along with our straps for the shear wall. And over here we have our straps and they will be tying into double studs. And we have two by six over here, which will provide us with a little wider look, kind of a detail that I chose for this, along with the fact that two by six are a little stronger than two by fours to support the weight above. And if you notice here, I needed to epoxy in a hole down here. And of course I had to do it on the other side also so that we could add sheer panel to this area here, this area here, and this area here. And I did need to make the garage beam a little larger. I took out the 4x12 and put in a 4x14. And even though I could have stopped the beam right here, I ran it through so that I could get a nice connection. We're going to put a long strap on the front here to connect these two beams together along with this framing plate. And this might not be something that your engine is going to require, but it would be something that you could do to make the home a little stronger. So again, we have a continuous plate here and then the strap to connect this wall to this wall. And I do understand that some of this stuff doesn't make sense, but it will later. And when I am completely done with the series, you could always go back and watch it. I have a playlist for the series that you should be able to find in the video description box of every one of the videos. So next up, let's go ahead and take a look at what I needed to do to fur out this part of the framing. Since I have a four by beam here sitting on top of two by six, I needed to fur out this section of the wall two inches. And of course I needed to do it for the in 
entire inside of the area, or in other words, for most of the perimeter of the inside ceiling. And of course, you could do this a variety of different ways. And hopefully you followed through some of this. Some of it made sense. However, if it didn't, by now you should know the ritual. Leave any questions you have in the comment area, any comments, or you can email me any questions you have about any one of our videos. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. 